Welcome back to Reicha Park this morning. Uh, we got the community all with us here, uh, coming to uh, make us tea and coffee and bring us scones and just be a part of this broadcast this morning. And uh, we are on, uh, well, in the heart of, of Reicha Park, really, and we're just trying to get to the bottom of some of the issues affecting the community. And with us now, I'm very happy to have Monty Gungubele, who is the current mayor of Kuruleni. In fact, he's been in office since 2010 and uh, hoping, of course, to retain this position after the August third elections and uh, of course well the new mayor will then be elected so let's speak to the mayor he's with us and uh, he's here in Reicha Park so nice to have you on Morning Live welcome good morning Leanne good morning to you are happy to be here yeah fantastic it's good to have you in this particular area I mean you we talk about since 2010 you've been the mayor um, of Okuraleni over the last five years when you look back at the at 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 I suppose your progress what, what would you highlight as some of your greatest achievements here I think the, the most thing that comes to mind as I speak now is the fact that we've stabilized the city. Uh, we had a lot of turnover of staff and uh, we used to have a lot of labor instability. I think we last heard about a strike in Ekulene in 2011, February, to date. We were able to establish a productive relationship with the unions and secondly, we've put a resilient vision of the airport economy, which is commonly known as a retropolis. We've established a vision which has actually stimulated the interest of the investors domestically and globally. A 30-year master plan, which was produced over 18 months by top experts, domestic and, ex and international. So that vision is a wonderful vision, which we think has given Ekulian a path on which to grow. You know, and, and here we stand in one of the areas, in Reicha Park, and I think it was a good area to choose because we can highlight both the positives and the negatives. And one of the big negatives here in this area, and we spoke to the community leaders, is the fact that um, the drug abuse is so rampant here, and yet there isn't a single rehabilitation clinic. Um, it's on the cards, it's in the budget, but nothing's really been done about it. So, Mayor, when are we going to see that happening? How are we going to help this community? Leon, like I'm saying to you, the immediate thing we had to do in the city was to stabilize the city, give it a tight and a clear direction, establish governing structures. You do one thing at a time. Not that uh, drug, a drug is not a priority. As I'm talking to you now, we are establishing rehabilitation centers. There's one around Katlong next to Natal's old Natal Street Hospital. If we go to Arra Park, I think we've got no less than three at the moment. But we're on the move to put as many as we can. But in our view, the root cause, uh, when, when you deal with rehabilitation centers, you're dealing with symptoms. The biggest thing that we're actually looking at is to put more resources in the area of sports and recreation also to deal with the scourge of inequality, unemployment, lack of jobs and so on. Those are the root causes, socio-economic situation. We are happy with the series of interventions we're making as a city. As I'm talking to you, we've put a series of incubation centers in the construction area, in the metal base, jewelry beneficiation, and then innovation in the software engineering, uh, Mobile, innovate, mobile application innovation. We put a lot of young people there. And no less than 6,000 uh, graduates are in the experiential uh, uh, work situation in the private and public sector. Um, we've, put, uh, we, we, we've gone a big way in the township economy. As I'm talking to you, no less than 15 enterprise hubs, like here in Reicha Park, this financial year we're putting no less than 60 million to ensure that we revitalize the economy of the... Those to us are the root causes which we think we must deal with, because rehabilitation centers are good for recovery, but the root cause is what we're trying to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Still coming back onto the streets and, and, and being faced with the drug dealers, with the, with the rampant issue of gangsterism here as well, because that, that's a danger to this community. But, you know, it all stems from one big bad wolf and that wolf is called unemployment um, we're hearing about figures well in excess of of, of over 50 percent unemployment here if not more you know the job creation I know we're right here by the airport used to be one of the biggest employees here in the area and and, I, and, and I've been hearing from the community that's not really the case so uh, at the moment but you know how do we help that how do we revitalize the economy in this area to try and create jobs as, as I'm talking to you Leon, our unemployment is 
the, the unofficial is about 30 something percent, official one is 28 percent. Of the whole of Akuruleni? Yes, whole of Akuruleni. Okay. But what I'm saying, you, as I'm speaking to you now, economically we're intervening decisively. As I'm speaking to you now, uh, about 90 million in Akuruleni is going to the refurbishments of buildings to put what we call fabrication laboratories. As I speak to you now, we've got about three where there's innovation again. Two, we're not put, we're put no less than 53 million in terms of uh, six community, uh, 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 what we call farms, uh, infrastructure and irrigation system, to incubate no less than 100 emerging farmers. And I can also move and tell you that no less than 33 million uh, for multi-purpose trading facilities, 45 million to refurbish uh, the old uh, municipality uh, shops uh, so that to bring them to life. There's a series of interventions. There's what we call Mentiro. We, we put in, in the outgoing financial year 2.9 billion, which is fenced to ensure that Ekuruleni people do have access for entrepreneurial opportunities. This financial year we're putting no less than 3.5 billion, no less than half a billion amongst young people has been actually already has been actually have actually gotten access to that to, to, to those opportunities in the Vugupila construction uh, we we produce contractors who, uh, about 25 of them and once we've trained them from CIDB level one to high level, we give them project of no less than uh, 250 billion. And this financial year, they will be getting no less than half a billion. All right. Okay, Mayor, um, uh, we're going to have to leave it there for now. But just talking to us, so some of the progress that's been made here in the in the area, and also some of the job opportunities. Mandi Gungubela is the current mayor of Okuruleni. Let's take a quick break. News at seven after the stay tuned.